Hi, this is James from Bond with James. In this video, I'm going to talk about another ionic bonding activity that you can do in your classroom. This activity does involve a little bit of setup and prep, more so than the ionic dice activity that I spoke about in a previous video. However, it's still a fun activity that you can do in your class to allow the students an opportunity to get up and move around the room and or take them outside. I cannot take credit for this activity. You can click on the link in the upper left portion of this video, either now or later, to be directed to the site where you can download the activity for free as of the making of this video. What I did was I printed out the free template from the site. The original templates have the cations in green font and the anions in blue font. I printed in black and white, however I glued the cation templates on green construction paper and the anions on blue construction paper. I went ahead and wrote my name on the back and then laminated all the sets. Finally, I hole punched the sets and attached yarn to create an ion necklace. While you can tell in the blue construction paper set a bit of wear and tear, my ion necklace sets have held up pretty well over the years. The one thing about the free set was that it did not come with multivalent transition metal ions or polyatomic ions. So therefore, back in 2010, I created my own set, however I didn't use yarn with this particular set. I just had students hold onto the pieces as they moved around. I used black for the transition metals and red construction paper for the polyatomic ions, although in reality, the color doesn't really matter. Similar to the dice activity that I spoke about in one of my other videos, you could have students pair up a certain number of times. Say for example, I would tell the students to pair up with six other students so that they would create six different ionic compounds. Once they paired up, they had to write a chemical formula and the name for the compound. Students also needed to write the name of the classmate they bonded with for each pairing, which was not part of the worksheet of the free set. If you're interested in adding the multivalent and polyatomic ions, you can download them for free by clicking on the link in the description section of my channel or by visiting my blog. Don't forget to subscribe for more science or pedagogical tips by clicking on the link in the upper left hand corner. As always, thanks for watching.